welcome to the first episode of Wine and Dine. With me, Kirsten, we are making meatloaf and Merlot today, as well as mashed potatoes and carrots. We are doing this Merlot. This is from Lindman's, coming from southeastern Australia. Where are my Aussies? Comment down in the live chat. It has aromas of blackberry and plum, and it's supposed to be soft and round and approachable. Floral, cassis, and bell pepper on the nose with some chocolate and cedar notes on the finish. <laughs> Let the record show that the bottle was unopened before I started this. <laughs> also, for appetizer, we are just gonna crush chocolate. Post your chocolate body count in the live chat below. This is from Annie's Chocolate, so it's a nice little local chocolatier shop. And I have no clue what each of these chocolates are, so it's kind of like the Vow movie if you've seen that. So. Let's get started. This is so exciting. A real cooking show. First things first, preheat the oven to 350. We are starving. <laughs> so meatloaf. Cool. Your, well, keep your wine glass. I'm just gonna start off with the chocolate actually because I'm so hungry. And I'm just gonna go for a nice little round one. It's caramel. Yes. Mm. Okay. I'm so sorry, I have to talk with chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in the same boat. <laughs> Grab your bowl. Grab your loaf pan. Grab a sip of wine. Is this gonna be a disaster? Can I even post any of this footage at <laughs> this point? We're gonna grease our pan. Get your oil. Take the price tag off of your loaf pan. Oh my god. What's the worst that can happen? Oh my gosh, it's not coming off. This is too stressful. What happens if I leave this sticker on? How did I not see this before? So basically I had to start from scratch in the kitchen with all of my stuff and I just bought this. <laughs> That's the story behind the scenes. Down below if you have a trick for getting stickers off because HomeSense is literally the worst offender for putting stickers on the worst places. This pan looks like absolute garbage now. Take another chocolate. You earned it for watching that. I'm getting paper towels so I can grease. This is my first time making meatloaf. <laughs> so why not film it? I haven't made a lot of things. Like I have tried and true things that work out for me and lots of stir fries and stuff. But when it comes to like more extravagant things that take more time, I just never got there. I haven't made a turkey dinner yet, stuff like that. So maybe through this series, I'll be making more of that stuff. <laughs> I have lots of things that I want to make. All right, put that aside. Hopefully this is greased enough. If not, we'll just wash it <laughs> later <laughs> once it's burnt. Okay, so now we need all of our ingredients. Grab your beef. The full recipe will be either in the description bar or on dietitianillustrated.com. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna grab a chocolate. We're gonna be using Stove top stuffing, salt and pepper, Worcestershire. Not say that word. Worcestershire. Ketchup. A. How do you stop your mouth from going red with red wine? It's like magic if you can stop that. Get your garlic mincer if you have one. Do I have one? But I have one. Cutting board. Parsley. Go into the store. The garlic store. I love garlic. I hope you do too. If not, just omit it. This is a mincer on the back. This garlic store is from Mason Cash. Love it. We have to touch raw meat, guys. Buckle up, get ready. <laughs> I don't like this part. So we got two pounds of ground beef. We got the stuffing. We got Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> we have milk. We have salt and pepper. We have one egg. We have our garlic and we need our ketchup. How could I forget the most important part? One liter of ketchup. We're using the whole jar. No, just kidding. That's crazy. I love ketchup though. Love it. I'm gonna like freestyle a lot of this. When I'm cooking, I usually don't measure out that much. Baking is a different story. Open your beef. Ooh, who packaged this? Now I have to wash my scissors. Ooh, oh wow. Oh, love that. I really don't like raw meat and I was looking for gloves, but I couldn't find any, so I'm gonna have to just buckle up. Are you cooking with me? Who's cooking right with me? That's so exciting, how cool. 
It's like an interactive cooking show happening right now, guys. Did I already tell you guys this? Calories don't count on Valentine's Day, so go crazy. <laughs> okay, there's one. all the angles for you guys. Are you guys like nervous that I'm gonna cut my hand off? <laughs> I'm not a chef, not a sommelier, just a drunk who loves chocolate. I used medium ground beef because you don't want it to be too dry. If you get lean or extra lean, your meatloaf might come out like cracker. <laughs> Kidding, I don't know, but I used medium, okay. Add our Worcestershire sauce. Use about a teaspoon or just eyeball it, routing everything together. Oh, oh, okay. Is that enough? No. <laughs> Salt and pepper to taste. <laughs> Don't taste your raw meat, guys. Just eyeball it, hope for the best. That's what I always say. <laughs> Crack that egg. Oh my gosh. The wine is really setting in, guys, because lunch was like a few hours ago. <laughs> I'll just say. Open up your stuffing. Just add the whole bag. I got the lower sodium chicken. There's seasoning in there. Hope this turns out okay. Worst case scenario, it doesn't, and I'll have a disclaimer here saying do not do anything that I just did, okay? <laughs> Sound good? We need a quarter cup of milk. You can use whole milk, that's probably better, but I'm just using 2%, quarter cup, Oh my gosh. Quarter cup of milk. All right, quarter cup of ketchup. Why did I take that off? Put the lid back on. Getting that ketchup, y'all. Yes. It's always so scary like filming a completely new concept video. Cause I never know like what shots I need and stuff for editing. The learning process. Maybe that's why I was procrastinating this so much, but here we are. So we just need the parsley and the garlic as the remaining ingredients. Yes. Grab a bunch of parsley. Should I wash this? Yes. Am I going to? Okay, I'll wash it. <laughs> Make sure you get enough parsley for when we do the carrots, we're also gonna add parsley. Meatloaf, like what can really go wrong? <laughs> Famous last words. Add some minced garlic to taste. <laughs> to taste is like such a cop out when you're writing a recipe. I'm guilty of it as well. <laughs> it's like I really don't know how much you want, so just to taste. <laughs> garlic is minced, now we just need our parsley and then we're gonna use our hands to mix this. Uh, okay. This much parsley, parsley adds up really quickly, guys. I'm just gonna chop up this parsley and then we're off to the races. Don't cut off your fingers. Like I said, I'm not a chef. <laughs> I think I wanna add just a little bit more salt to this. And a little wine break, liquid courage for touching all this raw meat. <laughs> and a chocolate. Take a chocolate with me. Cheers. So good. Mm. We're gonna mix it with our hands. Then we're gonna get brown sugar and mix it with the ketchup and do that on the top. Jen, Terry Ann, thank you. You guys said I had to do the ketchup on the top, so we will. We're mixing. We. Do we need more milk? Okay. So far, can't tell if the stuffing was a mistake or not. Feels pretty hard, but nothing's mixed yet, so fingers crossed. My eggs have double yolks in them. I don't think they're supposed to, but hopefully that doesn't affect the outcome. Keep it up. Keep it up, you're crushing it. Okay. <laughs> God, am I missing something here? Ooh, perfect timing. Okay, I don't think we want to overmix it, and we don't want to pack it down too much when we're filling our loaf. 
but I also want to make sure that it's not like a huge glob of ketchup <laughs> when you cut into the loaf. Okay, this wasn't as bad as I thought. Comment down below if you're like me and you prefer gloves when you're mixing and handling raw animal. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the stuffing. I guess time will tell as the juices make them less hard. Okay, I think that's good. This is what we're working with. Now we're gonna put it in our loaf. Ooh. Wow. Don't pack it down too much, but make it look pretty for you and whoever you're making it for. Oh, this is exciting. Hopefully the egg is mixed all the way. Okay, my memory card was full. I just switched the memory card and we're back. Hi guys, <laughs> coming to you from the future to explain that basically when I transferred a new memory card into the camera, for some reason it got corrupted and it didn't properly save any of the footage, the remaining footage from this angle and this microphone. So that's fine, we're gonna roll with the punches. I had a B-roll camera set up and that is what we're gonna use. The audio isn't as crisp, but I think it still turned out amazing. And the meatloaf, incredible. You have to try this recipe. And hopefully you enjoyed the rest of the video. Now we're gonna go to making the sauce. I'm gonna do a little bit of narration, voiceover, montaging. We got this, we got this. All right, on to the video. So, meatloaf is in our nice new pan. And we have to make the sauce. Grab that wine. It's supposed to be just nice, relaxing, casual, drinking wine, making meatloaf, killing life, eating chocolate. <laughs> Mix a quarter cup of ketchup with two tablespoons of brown sugar. Oh my goodness! I think I might make some extra sauce for the serving. Is that allowed? Oh, shoot. We want it to be saucy. Saucy. Oh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Mixing it up. Pour it on the top. I think this is not enough sauce. What? Who are these people? Okay, we're gonna double down. Let's redo everything we just did. All of the recipes that I looked at for inspo said a quarter cup of ketchup. That is not enough ketchup. Excuse me, ma'am. Gosh, that looks beautiful. We got a beautiful masterpiece here. I almost don't even want to cook it. <laughs> just this is what we got. We're putting it in the oven for 60 minutes. A timer. Set that bad boy. Now we're gonna clean up and start preparing the carrots. Because the carrots are gonna take like 35 to 40 minutes. And we'll prepare the mashed potatoes last. So I'm gonna clean up, come back. Full transparency, I was not listening to soft jazz music. This was probably Shaggy, Nelly, 50 Cent. <laughs> Clean up your space, get everything nice and neat for round two of the cooking prep. These side dishes complemented the meatloaf so well. Carrots and meatloaf can't go wrong. Mashed potatoes, a winner. All right, get all your ingredients out. We got balsamic vinegar, we got some parsley. We're gonna remove the outer layer of the carrots. What's that called again? We're gonna peel the carrots. <laughs> We're gonna drizzle some olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Everything is just eyeballing the measurements. Add some salt and pepper. Just gonna dice up some garlic. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna add a full clove just because this clove is probably near the end of its shelf life anyway, so might as well roast it. I love eating roasted garlic, so bonus if you do as well, just toss that right in there. Mince up or finely dice the garlic, add that, give it a nice little mixeroo, <laughs> pop that in the oven, and we're just gonna let that sit for the remaining cooking time of the meatloaf. Now we're gonna dice up our potatoes. We're not gonna start the potatoes yet until there's about only 20, 20 to 15 minutes left for the meatloaf. But rinse them, cut them. This is just me talking. 
drinking wine. I don't even know what I was saying. Anyways, we're gonna start cutting that parsley up. I like to roll it into a bunch. It just makes it easier for cutting and then just nice. This is for garnishing the carrots at the end. Back to talking, showing you that I haven't had that much wine because I am a lady eating more chocolate. They're not oven mitts anymore, they're gloves. All right, we're gonna start boiling that water. Okay, we got 13 seconds. This is the moment of truth, guys. Grab your oven mitts. Ugh. I don't have a thermometer. Don't even ask me if I don't have one. I checked the meatloaf at 60 minutes in. It was still a little too red for my food safety. <laughs> Not approved, put that back in the oven. And I think it sat in there for another five to 10 minutes. The potatoes are done. We're gonna strain and drain. We're mashing. Okay, get that butter. I'm just gonna grab a spoonful. Probably, probably adding about a quarter of a cup. And then we're gonna add this chive, Philadelphia spread, two tablespoons, we'll say. Oh, I hate dirtying another spoon, but we'll do it. For you guys, for you guys, I'll dirty as many spoons as it takes. We got about five utensils in this pot right now. <laughs> That's fine. So we are plating now. This is so exciting. This meal turned out so delicious. You have to try it. Adding the extra sauce was key. Garnishing those carrots with parsley and voila! Meatloaf and Merlot. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me. If you liked, please like and subscribe and happy Valentine's Day. And yeah, that's it.